Okay, here I'm interested in generating um, a plot like this compressibility factor chart uh, from the textbook, and I want to use it. I want to generate it using the MATLAB code, right? So I've gotten my MATLAB open and I've navigated to the chapter eight and nine folders, and uh, if I open the README file, I can understand a little bit more about what's going on here. If you're interested in uh, properties, you often will run uh, Prios Props menu, uh, but let me see what the README says. Okay, um, if I look at it, it says here in line seven, uh, the or line uh, six, that uh, when I run Prios Props menu, it's going to call Prios Props. So let me take a look at Prios Props. Okay. All right. Oh, well, it looks like I need a reference temperature and pressure and a T and a P and something called match, and it's going to return compressibility factors, enthalpies, entropies, internal energy, uh, phi, which is uh, going to be the fugacity coefficient, and info, which is something else. But if I read the documentation, I can learn more about this. Now, if I look down below, um, I can find out about what match is. All right. So let me uh, use Control F to bring up Find, and let me search for Match. Uh, describe below. Oh, all right. Specify the array Match. Uh, use Match equals four zeros to skip matching. All right. So let me set this up in my workspace. I'm going to set up the values I need to run this code. So looking at this, I need to set uh, reference temperature and pressure, temperature and pressure, and match. Also, while I'm here on the function, I'm going to grab this piece that I need to use to, to call the function. I'm going to grab this piece and control C to copy it to my, paste, to my clipboard. Then I'll redock this. Okay. And I have already entered uh, these uh, values into my workspace. And I'm, the fluid I'm working with is the default fluid argon. So I've looked up uh, the critical temperature, and I'm going to use a reduced temperature of 0.7. And I just picked a pressure, a reduced pressure of 0.5. All right. And uh, I can call this function now. I've got the things defined in my workspace. So I can paste that. Uh, function call that I copied, and let's just see what happens. Okay, so it's returned some uh, stuff to us. All right, let me undock this. And you can see that uh, this is part of the info array. All right, but then I've got uh, values being returned. And what's going to happen is if I get three real roots, it will return multiple values if you've watched the output before uh, behind the code. So I may need to determine which uh, route to take, and I'm going to use the fugacity to do that. So let me start to set this up. If I look at the plot, I want to generate a pressure range from 0.01 to 10 in reduced pressure, and I can do so very quickly with, with, with MATLAB. So I'll start with a, a vector here, call it PVEC, and I want to go from uh, uh, 0 0.01 by increments of 0.01 to uh, 0 0.09. All right, now I need to add to that, so I'm going to um, take my previous vector. And I'm going to add, on the end of it, I'm going to add uh, 10 uh, times PVEC, and then add 100 times PVEC. And then that should give me the vector I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, let's 
let's see. All right, I made an error here, and uh, I need to fix that. So I've got a semicolon instead of a colon here. So let me uh, get that colon fixed, and then I'll repeat this line again. Oops, uh, this line. All right, now I've got the vector I need. Oh, I need to add a 10 to the end of it. Now I've got the vector I need for the pressures. Okay, so let me uh, start a new script. And I just go, I'm going to need to loop. Um, I'm going to set my temperature. Um, well, my temperature set. Okay, so I've started a new script here. And um, let's take a look at what I've done. What I've done is created a vector called Z save. I'm going to save compressibility factors as I generate them. I'm going to run through the vector that I've created of reduced pressures. And oops, I need to uh, calculate the with the reduced pressures. P equals uh, uh, P equals uh, 4.898 times PVEC. That's the critical pressure for this particular fluid, uh, 4.898. All right. And then I'm going to call uh, Prios. And here I'm just saving the first root. Now, I know that's, uh, I'm just getting the idea here, right? I'm going to get the idea. And then I'm going to refine this. This would save the, the first root uh, every time. Well, that might not be the one I want to save. I actually want to save the more stable root. So I'm going to have to do be a little bit more uh, sophisticated about determining which one to take. All right, let me see if there's anything in this uh, routine that might help me. Um, I would be looking for a minimum fugacity. Well, let's see if that's done here anywhere. Okay, I'm going to find. Uh, let me look for a minimum. Ah, determine which root has a minimum fugacity. Uh, how is that being done? All right. Uh, if the length is uh, index is finding things that are bigger than B, um, and if it's greater than one, aha, this is how I find uh, which index to take. Uh, look at this, all right? So I'm going to copy this statement. I'm going to paste it back over here. But I only want to do that if uh, Z is lar if uh, length of Z, is greater than 1. Alright, and I'm going to have to have an end. And then I want to put this uh, statement in here. That would give me the index. And then I want to save the z. That is, I'm going to overwrite uh, the first root, if that's not the right root to, s to save, is the uh, index. All right, so now I should have uh, what I'm looking for, and I should create a vector z save that's the same length as pvec, right? So then I should be able to plot this. And to get a semi log plot, I use the function semi log x. And PR is going to be my x-axis, and Z save will be my y-axis. All right, and uh, let's redock this and see if it works. Okay, and I'm going to have to name this when I try to run it. It will prompt me. All right, so let me call it uh, Z plot. Okay, I've got an error. Let me uh, um, open this up and take a look. 
Okay, here's the error message, and I'm, I'm getting an error message because it looks like uh, something's not a scalar that should be a scalar uh, here with my calculation of the coefficient. So let me look back, and I find it right away. Uh, I'll dock this again. Uh, notice that I should have a scalar for my pressure, but I made a mistake here, and I took the vector. So I'm going to take only the ele one element at a time, right? So now let me run this. Okay, now I have another error in semi-log, so let me figure that out. Okay, this is simple. Uh, silly, I, I use PR instead of PVEC. I'll redock. So I want to plot uh, PVEC. Alright. There we go. All right, something uh, looks a little funny. Oh, the first step takes me um, uh, way over here. Let me use a little bit higher. The first step goes from a vapor to a liquid, I think. Let me go to uh, a little bit higher reduced temperature. OK, it turns out that I thought I was using argon, but uh, the fluid was set as methane. I've uh, changed that fluid now in Prio's props. Um, I'm going to. I've set it to argon, and I haven't changed anything else. I've got everything else the same. Let me rerun the code. Oops! I just need to. Um, I can click run up here. Okay, and here is the plot, and that looks very much like I need to, what, I, what I would like. Now I need to fix insert the vapor pressure. I'm going to have to do that, and I can run I can run the GUI separately, and then I can insert um, into this vector before it's plotted. So I could remove this plot command uh, from the code itself, and then run that manually afterwards. Take this line out, but I need to modify both of these before. Now you can insert uh, easily into a vector you can add some values in the middle. So let's say I have a, a, a vector that is uh, uh, going from uh, 0 0.1 uh, by 0.1 to 1. All right. And let's say I want to insert uh, some extra values into that. Okay. So let me uh, insert 0.55 here in the middle. So this element would be element number 5. This is element number 6. So I can insert those. Vec equals uh, uh, Vec 1 to 5. And then I'm going to insert 0 0.55. And then I'm going to have the remainder of the vector, uh, 6 through the end. can uh, probably use the end here. Okay, and look, now I've got a, so this is the, uh, I've got 0.55 right here in the middle. So that's the way you can insert values into a vector before you plot them. Thanks.